Then we did about various types of relationship. I told you every function is a relationship, but every relationship is not a function. It's very important for you to again understand. Uh, suppose there is x, which is one comma two, one comma three, two comma four. This cannot be a function because in these two ordered pairs, the first element remains the same. So this is just a relationship. So based on this, there are various types of functions. So there is one one function, there is onto or surjective function, then there are bijection function, there are identity functions, into functions, constant functions, equal functions, and inverse functions. So let us see what these one one function is. So now what is a one one function? Different element of A has a different image of B. That means it will be like this. So suppose you have A and you have B. So you have 1, 2, 3. You have <coughs> 5, 6 and 7. So 1 suppose is 6 and 2 links with 5 and 3 to 7. So for each pre-image there is a definite image or for every Im image there is a definite pre-image one and only one image and pre-image combination so for every every image has a unique pre-image and vice versa then we call it as a one one relationship onto or subjective which means that every element of y has at least one pre-image that means suppose you have y and you have x. So you have say minus 2, 2, 5, minus 5. So 25 has 5 as a pre image as well as minus 5 as a pre image. 4 has minus 2 as a pre image as well as 2 as an image. That means the function is f of x is x square. So minus 2 square is also 4, 2 square is also 4, 5 square is 25, minus 5 square is also 25. Then we call this as an onto or subjective function. So you understand that even a 1 1 function can be an onto function. The 1 1 onto is also because every the concept is that every image has at least one pre-image. It may have more than one. So in this case, every image has two pre-images. In this, every image has one. So even this is a kind of an onto, but you specify it as a one one onto image. So this is, that means there is no element in Y which is not linked to some element in X. Then it is called as an onto function or subjective function. Then a function which is not 1 1 and not on 2 also then we call it as a bijection function so something like this say you have 1 2 3 and you have 4 5 6 so this is linked to this this is linked to this but this is not linked to this then we call it as a bijection because one of the element of here does not have a pre image and it's not 1 1 also so then we call it as a bijection function in two function, there exists even a single element of y which has no pre-image. That means whatever is not on 2 and so we have something like this. So we have 1, 2, 3 and we have 4, 5, 6. So we have 1 and 4 are linked, 2 and 4 are linked. And 3 and 5 are linked. That means there is an element 6 which does not have a pre image over here, then we call it as an into function. So it is it is called a kind of a 1 1 into function, wherein one element 6 does not have a pre image in A. Then we call it, even if one such element exists, then we call it as a which has no pre image, that is, it does not have a do corresponding domain, then we call it as an into function. So that is into onto and one one. Then 
it has same domain and range say for example you have 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 suppose the function is y is equal to x for any value of x there is going to be corresponding minus 1 comma minus 1 then we call it as an identity function right then constant function all elements of x has the same image so an equation of the form y is equal to say 15 this is that this is the relationship so whatever be the various values of the domains the value of the range remains the same so a, for a constant function the range always has only one value so this kind of a function so it will be suppose this is the y axis and this is the x axis a constant function will be a line parallel to the x axis then we call it similarly we have equal functions if two functions are one and the same so suppose you have uh, f of x is 2x plus 3 and g of x is also equal to 2x plus 3 then we say f of x is equal to g of x and both the functions are equal okay then we have inverse functions now inverse function would be say for example let's see how we get inverse function inverse function say for example y is equal to 2x this means that f of x is equal to 2x which means that f of x upon 2 is equal to x now how do we get the inverse function we take the inverse function in that case the in this is called we call we change the x to f inverse x and this we change it to x so in that case the inverse function of x is x by 2 for example sin 30 is half which means that sin inverse half is 30 is 30 degrees sine inverse half is 30 degrees much the same way you just have to rearrange the function and find the value of x replace x with f of minus 1 and replace whatever you want as f of x with x so you get f of minus x is x by 2 say for example inverse function of y is equal to 2x that is f inverse x is nothing but x by 2 similarly you have y is equal to x square which means that x is equal to square root of y. So we do the same thing, replace x with f inverse x and this would be root x. So f inverse x, you replace x with f inverse x and replace the y by x and you get root x. So this is the inverse function that is y is equal to root x is the inverse function of y is equal to x squared. Okay, so this is inverse function you have. Then we have other types of function that is composite function. Composite function is the relationship between two functions. So, for example, suppose you have f of x. Now, f of x is 3x plus 2g of x. So, when you say f o g, it means that the function is going to be 3x plus 2. But instead of 3x, instead of x, we normally put in various values. This means that instead of x, you need to put x square, whatever is the value of g. So this will be 3x square plus 2. So f o g is nothing but wherever you have x in the first function, it has to be replaced by g of x. On the contrary, suppose it is g o f. So the basic function is going to be x square. This is the function. But instead of x, you are going to substitute the value of f of x, that is 3x plus 2. So, g of f the whole square is 3x plus 2 the whole square. So, f o g is 3x square plus 2 and g of f is 3x plus 2 the whole square. You just have to replace the variable by the other function and simplify it further. 